Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see by the title for the blog entry for the day, it's not good news again for the Vatican. And I, I am going to try to use this title in the video that I'm going to post on this. But if YouTube pulls it because of the words kitty porn, then I will definitely repost it, but I'll have to change the title. Uh, but this is uh, a sad state of affairs for those of us that are called to expose the Antichrist because this kind of stuff is just plain disgusting what we got to report on sometimes. But if you go to the article here, I'm just going to read, uh, let's see, the first paragraph and maybe the first sentence of the second. It says that Monsignor Carlo Alberto Capella, an official in the Vatican's Washington Nuncio's office who is wanted by Canadian authorities for possessing and distributing kitty porn, won't be extradited to Canada, but will instead be tried in the Vatican, well-informed sources told ANSA Thursday. Monsignor Capella is currently being held in the Vatican. The Vatican has cited his diplomatic immunity against the Canadian warrant, the sources said. In other words, they're definitely protecting him. It's like I've always said, uh, Roman Catholic priests don't become pedophiles. Pedophiles become Roman Catholic priests because they know they'll be protected. Now, do you see why the Vatican is not just the church, but also the sovereign nation of Vatican City, just as the prophecy predicted they would be? It allows them to use this diplomatic immunity card whenever their homosexual priests molest, rape, or even kill children in other nations. For them to claim they will take care of this Monsignor Capella in their own Vatican courts is a farce. I mean, do you recall Cardinal Law? who was forced to resign as the leader of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Boston because of his causing the worst molestation scandal in the history of the planet. That is still going on as we speak, by the way, globally. After he supposedly resigned in shame, he was actually promoted by infamous Pope John Paul II to head a basilica in Rome. And I say infamous because John Paul II was also protected and then promoted to Pope decades later by the Vatican after he joined the ranks of the priesthood after fleeing Nazi Germany for his war crimes, and he fled using the Vatican rat line. So I don't expect this Monsignor Capella to see any sort of long-term jail time. I mean, they may, for positive PR, put him behind bars for a little while, so as to make it appear as if the present Jesuit Pope is actually doing something about all this, you know, so as to keep the children from getting raped and killed by Catholic priests and nuns. But as we know, this has been the norm in the Vatican since its inception, as ancient Didache documents confirm. They have had this problem for literally centuries, and with each generation, another pope steps up to claim they're going to fix this mess, but they never do. All they do is make promises so as to calm the people down. I mean, the last three popes in our generation alone prove that hands down. The prophecy of Daniel 1137 clearly stated long ago that the prelates in Rome would be homosexual. And just recently, we discovered that 98% of the priesthood in the Vatican building itself are, in fact, homosexual. I mean, I even did a radio spot as well as an expose on my website many years ago during the AIDS crisis, wherein it was found that Roman Catholic priests were dying of AIDS 11 times greater than any other group. Not long after that, one of Pope Benedict's personal in-house ushers was busted running a homosexual prostitution ring for the priests in the Vatican. Still, one would think that they would stop all this wickedness after being outed so often, but no, they just keep going on as if nothing's wrong, and it's what they've always done, in fact. And then in 2015, it was found that the Vatican actually owns and operates homosexual brothels in Rome, wherein Roman Catholic priests working in or visiting the Vatican frequent numerous times a day. Now, I can literally go on and on with more info on this. In fact, all my newsletters over the years are filled with tons of well-sourced info on all this, as well as my main site, that at present has well over 12,000 pages of data exposing the popes of Rome. And I don't say that to boast. I say that to show how much garbage is out there about these men. It's overwhelming. And I'm just one man doing this. 12,000 pages? Are you kidding me? But still, this is seriously just the tip of the iceberg as prophecy predicted this is to be the most evil organization ever known to man on earth because Satan himself is running it. But I think you get my point here, and so I, I don't need to go on much further. If you want more information, just go to remedygod.org. But what amazes me the most in all this, even though all of this has been declared worldwide for centuries, and even more so in just the last few decades, and even though... Since 2012, the Vatican has paid out well over 
$2 billion in lawsuits to loyal Catholic families in the USA alone. And no, that's not counting the millions of other children worldwide that have been molested, raped, and even killed by the Vatican priests and nuns. Yet the Catholic people, the loyal Catholic people, to their, and they're loyal because they're kept in the dark about a lot of this stuff. They keep paying the priests all the money they need to help those priests continue to pay off those lawsuits. And at the same time, their dear, precious children continue to be molested, raped, and even killed by those same priests. And so I implore all of you to please pray for the Catholic people, that they at least get their children out of harm's way, for they will be held accountable by the Lord Jesus Christ for allowing those little ones to be harmed. Jesus is soon to return, and as prophesied, he will enact justice upon those evil priests in the Roman Catholic Church, as well as anyone else in agreement with them. That prophecy, like all the other prophecies before it, which have been fulfilled to the letter, will be fulfilled, because our God has seen the end from the beginning. That's why Christian prophecy is so accurate. Thank you for watching. God bless.